Okay, so hello again. Uh, a new day, a new project. So, uh, a few days before I dismantled a couple of batteries, a few laptop batteries, recovering some uh, 18650, the classic 18650 cells. And today it's time for sorting and checking and do all the capacity tests and stuff like this. So far, uh, the green ones from, uh, from the Asus uh, battery, they are pretty okay. So uh, I got like uh, 1700 milliamps, one of the cells, and now the other one is discharging. And uh, you see 3 volts and it's still strong, 800 milliamps. So it's looking like they are still usable. And I have uh, another pile of uh, cells over here. These are from some other batteries I don't remember anyway, but uh, they still present voltage and this is really important. Now, what I want to say, to save you some time and uh, we do a preliminary test, I may say. So, if you have anything like this, Oh, this is that one been charged a little bit. Let's say 250. Okay, this kind of uh, this kind of batteries, there are chances to to revive it. And let me have a kind of rude capacity test. I may say I put this on ammeter, DC ammeter because I have 20 amps over here, so it's a pretty uh, powerful ammeter. And let's see, if, okay, we have more than two amps. So, this kind of battery, I think it will be okay to recover. Let me check the others. Ammeter, good. Perfect. So I think this will be okay. Now let's go to some other bunch of batteries of cells. This one's here. I got no voltage, nothing. So if you have anything like this, and look at this one, it's from the same bunch. And uh, it's been on charge for a couple of hours and still nothing. So if it's zero, then it's dead. Don't even bother. Don't waste your time testing and testing and doing uh, measurements because it's not worth it. This also been in charging for more than two hours and this is something funny because if we test if we test this for internal resistance if we test this for internal resistance look there 96 97 million ohms. so there is an internal resistance in fact when I was checking the charging with this, I had like uh, 100 milliamps uh, charging current. But there is no chance to revive them. They are so gone. Look, this one is even 66 milliamps. This could be a good one but it's taking no charge. I'm gonna put it over here for a while to see if there are any chances, but I'm pretty sure there are not. This one doesn't even have an internal resistance. So this one is in air or something. Anyway, it's coupled. So rule number one, 
if it's if it's zero volt even if you have like internal resistance 100 milli ohms or something doesn't matter don't even bother these are gone don't waste your time so this one been in the charger a little bit 67 milli ohms but no voltage nothing so these are going to the recycle bin I mean to the to the recycle point like I said before don't put this in trash no absolutely no because there are very dangerous uh, chemicals inside there something else to say uh, when you dismantle laptop batteries it's always nice to use gloves because these things are very sharp and then can hurt you and also there are a lot of uh, chemicals you know leaking from the bad batteries and they are not good for your hands okay not this ones because I checked them already so be worried about wearing gloves uh, be worried about sharp corners here you can cut your skin very easy and something else don't ever cut multiple wires in the same time or multiple uh, cells and I showed you in the other video let's say we have two like this in parallel you see minus plus when you cut them you always start with minus why because even if you if you break the plastic here the isolation nothing wrong can happen this is minus to the body if you go here the first time when you put the knife or whatever the scissor and everything uh, for cutting you know in between it's very possible to hurt the, the plastic and uh, then you're gonna have a short for sure so when it's like this in parallel maybe two maybe four maybe three doesn't matter always start with minuses uh, what else like I said before if it's zero volts don't even bother and uh, a good idea is to have one of these uh, internal resistance meters this is an IR1035 plus it's a very nice tool you can you can find from a single measurement everything you need about uh, a cell if it's worth to to play with it anymore or not let's say now 66 67 million ohms that's pretty okay and it's not charged here i have some other some old uh, cells this one is like uh, one amp let's see what the internal resistance is 63 64 oh it's pretty okay what about this okay 62 and let's let's measure some green ones from Asus I really don't know who's producing this let me let me see a little bit closer S E U S one four six five zero and something S E I don't know it seems maybe Samsung same story so they are SC the other ones over here are I don't know who knows okay so we got here something like MD MDL MDL A to B okay doesn't really matter because uh, as long as I I'm testing the capacity and 
the voltages and all the other stuff, then uh, I have a clear image about uh, this cells. Okay, let me check the internal for this one. So this is in line for testing. 81 milliohms. 409 volts. Oh, okay, this one has been charged already. They are not so great, I may say. They are okay, medium to low quality, but they are still useful for different projects, you know, like uh, uh, LED lights, uh, night lights uh, for the garden, and even a power bank like this. The, the charging and discharging with a power bank like that it's pretty slow so you don't need really really uh, tough cells I may say okay thank you for now that's all for today I'll be back soon with some other results and uh, please uh, push like and subscribe and don't forget to be safe bye bye